Yeah, got oh these yeah. big beautiful brick houses man that you ain't gonna be able to find nowhere else in the united states like i said for these prices so and that he was taking it a step further with his uh you know uh career and with his uh uh, uh trade so but i seen bro calvin was really about it so hey i hit him up and well, i'm out here oh yeah <laughs> so yeah when you first get your land bank property and you get it right when the winter's about to start august september around september you could run into an issue where it's... It's my buddy Lou. Everybody met Lou. You know, he been on the channel real quick. Been on the channel a long time, man. Yes, we have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lou, can you tell the people Wait, right now real quick of what you're doing here? We uh, tore out this whole floor. It was all rotted. All the joists were rotted. Tore everything out. Floor joists back in. We're going to put a uh, jack up under there. Jack the wall up. Bada boom, bada bang. Nice and easy. So what we call getting a land bank off your back so reframing structure this is the guy if you need your roof uh done tie in with me i'll get you in contact with lou and his team and get you together and all on top of that in the in the winter time they in, they inside reframing yeah. so they hey, get we're out. outside in the winter time too oh yeah oh yeah right now we're working on this bathroom it's getting it insulated we're about to do that right now once we start putting in our lavatory press around we got a little framing over here trim floor and this will be done in about three days. All right, bet. Let's go. Let's get ready. Let's get the shooting. All right. It's real cold. Let me show you what we did. Where did it go? Huh? Back there, and uh, yeah, okay. that's, that's what we do. Something like that, okay. Yep. That's a bit. Okay, cool, Vince. All right, so. Picking up on me with these uh, interviews and shit. Let me make sure. Hey, I'm look, man, look. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. all right, man. Here. Man, let's in in uh, well, introduce yourself to my to the people, to the YouTube world, to the family, man. Tell them about yourself, your name, where you from, what made you get into the. Well, let's go. So, tell them your name, let's go from there. Well, like I said before, if y'all didn't see me on the last one, my name is Damon. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm out here in Detroit messing with my boy Calvin, trying to get this big old house, you know, redone, get it back looking like new. And that's the plan, that's what we gonna do. Yeah, man, tell them about uh, what made you get into uh, buying your first land bank property. What, uh, what inspired you to uh, purchase? And uh, it's a big investment, man. Yeah, well, man, off the rip, uh i've been planning to get on get into real estate for a long time and uh you know as the economy been going along you know it's been getting crazier and crazier and harder and harder to get into a property so for a person of you know my skin tone you know it, it, it makes it you know they roll out the red tape so Detroit is an easier place to get into and you're not going to be able to find a beautiful house like this Maybe it needs a little work, but you're not gonna be able to find a, a nicely sturdy beautiful house like this for that this price Yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, tell them how long have you been watching my channel? Uh, how long have you been a subscriber and um, and what what part of my channel? Uh, motivated you to uh, make this purchase uh well, I seen that bro was uh, really about his business, you know, and that he was taking it a step farther with his, uh, you know, uh, career and with his uh, 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 trade. So uh, I just had to respect that when I seen that he was serious about it, I had to reach out and get to him, you know, see what we, if he would, could help me out. Because we, I was definitely watching him for about a, a year and a half, like I said, you know, and you know, just getting it all together. But I had my eye on Detroit for a little bit longer than that, but I seen bro Calvin was really about it. So, hey, I hit him up and we, I'm out here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And we call it get the land bank off your back. So I'm gonna do uh, everything in my power to um, help this be a, a easy transition. So I got his electrical service started. So uh, the electrical company is gonna be out here, DTE, gonna be here to put in his meter to get that set up. And then we're gonna go with my uh, Ruben Plumbing. That's my uh, cousin's licensed plumber. He's gonna get his water meter set up. And then we're gonna go from there, focusing on the things that the land bank uh, requires of you to release the lien on it because when you buy a land bank property your name and the land bank's name is on your deed you have an agreement you have to get this property done in 
up to compliance within six months. And that means all exterior windows and doors in, your roof has to be in good stable condition, your porch has to be safe. If you have a back porch, that has to be safe. You have to have a functioning electric or gas hot water tank, a functioning either gas furnace or electric baseboard heaters. You have to have a functioning kitchen sink, stove or microwave, big or small refrigerator, a functioning toilet and a functioning sink in your bathroom. And with those things, you can achieve compliance and the land bank will release the lien on the property. And then you can go from there. And also it's all types of different financing. A lot of people go with private uh, private lenders, which would be hard money. And, and some people can go with a, uh, a construction loan. Or you can do like I did, and it was my nine to five would pay for my projects. So, you know, uh, man, I appreciate Which, you, man. Well, yeah, you know, no problem, I appreciate bro. you, man, taking a, taking this journey, man, and trusting me to help you out with this, man. And I appreciate you. Know, hey, you. Yeah, yeah, and man. like everything he just said is pretty much correct. They have guidelines and rules that you have to follow. You have to get this in compliance by, by a certain time. So you do have to get on it. You can't be really playing with it. And I mean, you gotta be able to, Get your hands dirty if need be but at the same time it could be done and hey man detroit is a beautiful city what they showing y'all on the news it ain't really what it is no more you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. downtown is nice big looking great and man oh, yeah. they got oh, these yeah. big beautiful brick houses man that you ain't gonna be able to find nowhere else in the united states like i said for these prices so yeah. and man if you got some you know hard work in you and you know the boy calvin right here get at him Oh yeah, and he definitely getting busy because he did all that himself. Look at that, man. He's sitting here, man. He gutting this whole thing out himself, man. Shoot. Hey, I, it takes, it takes that's me just back. That's the first round. You should have seen the first round. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, saying? it was the even worse, trip. man. He got yeah. some other. He got some crazy yeah, pictures. Man, I'm gonna so. try to see if I can get these pictures from him to show y'all what it was like when he first bought it, man. So right. it's, it's crazy, right. man. But uh, we're about to head to the next site, man, because we got some more people to meet today, and well, let's get it, man. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Right, man. Appreciate you. you, man. Yep, yep, you know yep. What up, though, bro? Hey, so it's a goal for the 750 for the uh, kitchen. So I told her to be on standby to wait for your call so you can uh, take back what you need to take back and purchase what you need to purchase. Okay. Okay. So um, get what you need to get to do the kitchen job and then whatever else and go from there. So you got her number, right? Yeah, I'll call her. Uh, all right, thank you. All right, bet. Let's go. Let's get ready. Let's get the shooting. All right. But I did everything we we were supposed to do for us that we got paid for. So. Yeah, I'm. I, I, I'm. A, I'll. To, yeah, when I look at it, I'll see where it's coming from and go from there. So we are on site of one of our uh, clients getting the land bank off your back. Um, so I wanted to talk to you guys real quick about when it comes to when you first get your land bank property and you get it right when the winter's about to start, you know, somewhere around July, July, August, September, around September, you could run into an issue where is when you get your water meter set up here, when you get your water meter set up, and of course you don't have a furnace in your property, if you don't prep your service to be properly heated through the winter, this water line, so right here on this side here, this is coming in from the city supply. So you have your shutoff valve here and it comes into your water meter. This is the water meter here. It is made of plastic up under here. This is plastic. This black part right here is plastic. So if this freeze, the break will start most likely here. If it don't, it'll start somewhere right here because it, it's gonna start wherever your weakest point is at. So if you see this here, this is a, a electrical heat tape. Um, it, it has a thermometer right here that I have it taped to the, I, use, I got electrical tape taped it to the pipe. So when it gets to a certain temperature in the basement, 
this starts warming up and it'll prevent your water line from freezing. Now, of course, the directions doesn't say you don't supposed to wrap it around. You're supposed to have it straight going down the pipe, but I don't care. I, I've been doing it this way here. You see it's power here. So when we get you together, when you come, you lock in with me. Hey, I get your electrical panel in, electrical service started. <clears throat> and this is one of the things after my, my cousin is a licensed plumber, Ruben Plumbing. They get your water meter set up here. So the water company come in, put your water meter in. <clears throat> we'll come back and we'll add this here because we don't know how long your project could take it. Anything can happen. And you want to make sure that you get, you're properly prepared because if this breaks and if it breaks in the wrong spot, yo, while you out of town or wherever you at, this basement can fill up with water. And the last thing you want is your basement to fill up with water and you got an electrical panel in the basement. So you yeah, I think smarter, tie in with the people that get you together. So for you guys that want to lock in with me, you guys can email me at herosquad.pm at gmail.com or you guys can message me on Instagram at the underscore real underscore Calvin M. You guys, that's my verified page. You guys can lock in with me and uh, we can help you get the land bank off your back. And if you want me to manage your project, of course, tie in with me. We'll get you together. But at the end of the day, my trade, I am an electrician. We got licensed plumbers. We got contractors. I got everything that you need to get your property together and get the land bank off your back. You know what I'm saying? Because I retired from my nine to five so I can help you guys start generational wealth and we about to get this we about to get this money stop playing especially and i give discounts for people that's actually coming to actually move and live here i really take care of you guys because at the end of the day at the end of the day you guys are trying to make a living and also bring my city back and actually come and live to, in my city i love it and i'm gonna take care of you guys let's get over to the next project Hey Lou, real quick. Hey, this is my buddy Lou. Everybody met Lou. You know you've been on the channel real quick. Been on the channel a long time, man. Yes, we have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been working with each other a long time, and that's uh B. B. Brandon. Uh, Brandon. Uh Lou, can you tell the people right now real quick of what you're doing here? We uh tore out this whole floor, it was all rotted, all the joists was rotted. Um that made this wall both sides of the wall fall so right now we uh tore everything out we're putting the raft or the floor joists back in we're going to put a jack up under there jack the wall up and double the, our joists up under there and put the wall back down be nice and flat put the decking back on right there Bada boom, bada bang, nice and easy. All right, cool beans, cool beans. So this is what we call getting a land bank off your back. So reframing structure. This is the guy, if you need your roof uh, done, tie in with me, I'll get you in contact with Lou and his team and get you together. And all on top of that, in the, in the winter time, they, in, they inside reframing. Yeah. So they hey, get we're outside in the winter time too. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So, um, but I'm gonna let these guys get back to it because it is cold outside and we are gonna go on to the next project. Um, you can see here where we, uh, <clears throat> majority of the homes that you get uh, from the Detroit Land Bank, they stole the cast iron pipe and scrapped it. So you see right here, this here, this is a, uh, is a cast iron or whatever, and the scrappers tear this out the house to uh, take it to get money from, you only get pennies on a dollar, but yeah. Of course, on all sites, <coughs> we get cameras, cameras everywhere. So that way, you know, it's one thing about having cameras inside. It's a little cold. <laughs> um, it's one thing about having cameras outside, but say if somebody catch a blind spot and they get in your property, you don't know that they inside the property. I love that this talks because, uh, it lets you know like hey you're being recorded out oh, um earlier you heard me talk about um electric hot water tanks and electric heat so this is considered a baseboard heater so this connects to ele the electrical service you'll run about um it'd be a 20 amp line 
and the square footage on this particular unit was about I want to say about 300 and something square footage that this covers so the line the land bank will allow you to have these and substitute these for the furnace so you <clears throat> you can have you gotta make sure you um, know the square footage of your home and get a, uh, a quarter into the square footage of your home so you have bigger ones uh, this this particular property is about 690 square feet or whatever so you really only need three of them and it's supposed to heat up the whole property um, but you know you want to get you know you want to achieve compliance this particular unit runs about hundred and twenty dollars so um, you know so we actually already passed for this particular property we already passed for the heat uh, portion utilizing these um, but um, other properties uh, like the other one we were at earlier today that one um, you would need a ton of those well not a ton of those you just need the bigger ones that may run about 300 400 bucks hey, you got that camera what are you doing you recording hell yeah, yeah. or pictures Record. Hello? Hello? hey what's going on what are you getting bitch? one good or one above hey no that's good that's good Hey guys, um, my man's heavy. Um, this will be the general contractor for this site um, and a lot of other sites. Uh, so right now, um, he's taking care of getting the bathroom together and getting the, um, the kitchen together so we can get the land bank off our back. So uh, I'm gonna let him tell you what he's doing. Uh, he's coming up with his design. Um, and of course, with my little bit of input, um, but he's a he's an expertise when it comes to that. You guys know I know how to do my own work or whatever, but when it comes to working for you guys, I'd rather bring the professionals in because you're not gonna complain to me about, hey, Calvin, this is off by a centimeter. This guy get you together. Heavy, you uh, go ahead and take it from here. First, I want to give a big shout out to Calvin. Um, we appreciate him in this process. He gets a lot of this going, um, and me and him, we talk and get everything under the control. Uh, just to let you know, part of this process, right now, we're working on this bathroom. First thing we start out with is getting it insulated. We're about to do that right now. We get our drywall up, get a box stand for you so you can see your vision and what's really going on. Um, plumbing, once we start putting in our lavatory and our toilet, we'll get all that hooked up. Sink is in here, it's all uh, in place and level. Uh, then we'll do our surround. We got a little framing over here to do. We'll get this door in, trim, floor, and this will be done in about three days. So that's how our process goes. It's pretty quick, uh, pretty generic for these, uh, but we'll get you to compliance. So if you guys want to get in contact with Heavy, y'all let me know. Um, just shoot me an email. You guys know how to reach me, and I'll get you over here. Uh, but I always say do not waste my contractor's time, so book a consultation and I'll give you a list of my contractors that I use every day.